Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about switching between computer languages. Okay, so today I wanna to answer a question that came in on episode 498 from Cordfunk. Cordfunk says, yo, Eric, that's an excellent way to start the comment, but let's do that from now on. Every comment should start with, yo, Eric, and when I respond, I'll say, yo, whatever, that could be our thing. It'll be like our, our we'll get really Stallone for like the next week or something. That would be awesome. So anyway, it says, yo, Eric, after months away from the Java and Swift world, I have to visit it again. Basically, a client asked me to develop this app for them. I haven't started it yet, but I know from experience that the first day is going to be kind of hard. There are all these small things like remembering to register the thing in the manifest files and other gotchas that I know I'm going to forget about. I'm not worried because I've been through all that before, but it's annoying how quickly some things disappear from my mind. Do you ever find that you start forgetting things quickly or not using the things you've learned all the time? Like for example, programming language. Personally, I need a couple of days to get into the flow of language again. Sometimes I think it would be better if we could collectively forget like Objective-C. So that's a really good question. And yeah, I do get this all the time. Like jumping from one language to another, it gets a bit jarring after a while. And if, if you know what this is like, you know that you're, you're, you forget semicolons or you're forgetting curly braces or you're doing whatever it is. So. And it usually depends if it's syntactically similar or not. Like I, I, I find it easier to go from JavaScript to C Sharp to Java, even Dart and type, TypeScript than I do going into Objective-C. Even though Objective-C has a curly brackets, it's just so much different. I had to do Objective-C on a project just recently just to go in and do a little bug fix on something that, was, that had been out there for ages. And it just took a while to get into it, too. Like, God, how, how does that work again? Whatever. I've done it before, so I know how it's done, but it's just that it's you know getting it right the first time. My first programming language was Visual Basic. So that's the first thing I learned. So it was good because I could do Visual Basic. We could do desktop applications. I could do ASP. We could do uh, VBA. But when C Sharp came along and everyone started to migrate to .NET, I found C Sharp to be very intimidating. I've taken courses in Java prior to that, but I didn't like the whole curly bracket things and semicolons. And I know lots of people who never even, they just, they stopped be, being developers when, when everything shifted over to .NET because they, they were intimidated by the curly brackets and the semicolons. But now I can't live without them. I find it difficult to go from, at the moment I'll go from JavaScript to Lua frequently and Lua's syntactically different. You got if and end if statements and it's, it's just it's different it's a little bit more like vb in that way and i i find it diff difficult but not impossible it just like like you said core funk it takes a day now what it reminds me of is whenever i go back to the states and i have to remember to drive on the right right i've been driving on the right for years and i've been driving on the left for years but it's just that little bit those quick decisions where it just slows you down because you go you know, you, you look the wrong way when you cross the street. And especially that first day. It's that first day when you're all tired and jet lagged, where you're afraid you're gonna kill your whole family driving home from the airport. It, you know, I always give myself extra time. I think you know, I'm all stressed out on the plane because I think I need to get some sleep because I need to drive two hours when we get there. And it's, but you know, after that first day, you're usually fine. You're back into the swing of the old language, the old way of driving. In fact, next week I'm going to I'm driving to the continent. It's the first time I've ever driven to Europe, so we'll be taking the tunnel. And I'm, I'm also a bit afraid of that. I'm afraid of killing my entire family because I turn onto the wrong side of the road. But after the first day, I'll be, I'll be used to it. But you know, that, that's what it reminds me of. It's like not impossible. I guess it's like riding a bike, but it's that those initial things where I find it difficult to get from one to another. And it's difficult when you work on more than one language at a time, especially if you have a lot of client stuff and people come to you with different stuff. And you, have, you know the language, but you're like, it's been a while since I used this and you're going into it. And so that's, that's what I find. But you know, I'd be interested to know, what do you guys think? Do you have the similar type of thing? Do you find it difficult to switch from one language to another? Or even better yet, is there a language that is so different from the one that you're using at the moment that you don't even want to attempt it? Like for me, for a long time, it was uh, Objective-C, right? It was like, it's just so different. It's like, um, it's like Greek to me. It's like, like Chinese Mandarin, you know, it's, it, it would be difficult for me to do it because I look at it and I just don't understand it. But once you get into it, you realize the similarities and everything like that. But 
For a long time, I was putting that off. But uh, what do you guys think? Is there a language you're intimidated by or are there different languages you find it difficult from switching between? And uh, anyway, great question, Cord Funk. That is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.